Hi YouTube! Uh, today I'm doing another uh, art book review kind of thing. I guess it's a more of a flip through. I'm not judging the books at all. Um, but pretty much just showing off um, some of the books in my art book collection and sharing them with you guys. So uh, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need for your business all in one place. I'll talk more about them at the end of the video. So today I'm going to go through four books. The first two are from Lauren Yes. I think that's who you say last name. It's just Y-S, so um, it might be a different pronunciation. I mentioned them a lot recently in my vlogs because I went to their show in San Francisco a few months ago. I believe it was the August vlog and I even took a knot tying workshop with them. So that's super fun. I also have been following along with their murals. They just did one in Sa Santa Cruz a couple weeks ago. And um, I have that footage just from the finished one here. I've met them a few times and always in love with their work. Uh, one of these books is going to be very adult. Uh, it's a little, a lot of nudity and sexual content. Um, I was really excited to just buy one of their books, so I actually didn't realize what was going to be in it, but um, it's still really good art either way. And if that kind of stuff bothers you, uh, maybe skip this video. <laughs> um, so I have these two books by them. They go by Squid Liquor on Instagram. So this is the art book that I was talking about. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh, here. This is the art book. Um, it was published a couple years ago. And this one I showed recently on my blog because I got this from, I got this from the art show that they did a few weeks ago in San Francisco. And it's pretty much just a little process book of the paintings for that particular, that specific show. Just like a little photo book, pretty much. Um, the other two books I'm going to show are this one. I think I also did a little flip through of this book in one of my vlogs when I bought it. But I'll show you a little more in depth, Tetsuya Terada. And the last book I'm going to show is one I bought a long time ago when I was starting out art school. This is, uh, it's called Vox, and it's a art book of the artist Matteo De Longis. Hopefully I'm saying his name correctly. Um, I didn't even know his artwork at all. I didn't know what this book was, and I saw it in a comic book shop sealed, and I bought it because I love this cover design so much. It's got like a sleeve on it. I'll show you, I'll be showing you all these four books today. All right, um, I'm gonna try to get as much of a top-down view as I possibly can. Hopefully this is a good angle. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the Lauren Yes books. All right, so the first book I'm gonna go through is The Eidolon Vessel, the book for their solo show from a few weeks ago in San Francisco. Um, I'm going to be putting links to all of these artists' Instagram and whatever they use in the description below. So like I said earlier, this book is just like a, a small book that goes with the specific show that they had. Uh, it's like a process book of the paintings for the show. Not really many words, um, just a few. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I got to meet them at the <laughs> the knot tying workshop. I already love the idea of having a specific book just for a gallery show. I think that's a really cool, cool project. Um, so it pretty much just describes uh, the meaning behind the show. They were painting about stories that their grandmother told them when they were younger and just lots of like 
whimsical fantasy characters and creatures. Very colorful. If you want to see more details of the actual show, go to my August vlog. And I did a lot of close-up videos of it. <laughs> so yeah, this is just like, just some progress photos of the sketches. I think the way they work is they do a whole giant detailed sketch, like super detailed. This is way more than I ever do for a sketch. And then they do it all over again on a painting on a canvas. <laughs> And the, the paintings were huge. They were, I wanna say the biggest one was probably like at least nine feet wide, probably bigger, I don't know. It's huge though, I never paint that big. It's It takes a lot, it's a lot of physical work and they do such detailed, it, like the whole painting is just covered in details, it's amazing. And these kind of photos are really my favorite. I love seeing these way more than seeing the finished work sometimes. It shows the workspace, the materials, the actual artists creating some of the inspiration on the walls. Like, it's really cool. I believe they mostly use acrylic and gouache for these paintings. Hopefully there's not much glare. They're a little glossy, so. One thing that I really love that they did in their paintings was lay down a background gradient. Um, they have a lot of training in spray paint. Started doing murals like a long time ago with the artist uh, Nichos. So um, that's like fully part of their background and they incorporate that into these fine art paintings. Uh, I've never thought of doing like a base gradient and then drawing over it before, but I really wanna try it one day. There's some photos of their other murals. Cool, seeing the palettes. And unfortunately, I think this book was only sold for this gallery show. There might be some on like a personal store of theirs, but I haven't heard of any of those going for sale. So I'm not sure if you guys will be able to buy this one. This was one of my favorite paintings there. They put up the sketch, like the whole original drawing and then the painting right next to it. And the drawing by itself was like amazing. I couldn't figure out which one I liked more. <laughs> this painting was one of the craziest ones there. It's kind of overwhelming to look at from far away, but when you're standing right in front of it, there's an insane amount of detail. I love it. They also had these really cool installation pieces that were um, wooden cutouts that layered over each other and uh, there were like ball bearings inside so they would spin and overlap each other. It was really cool. Yeah, these are all part of it. There were three three pieces that were all part of like one giant sculpture installation. asked them how they got their artwork so glossy and they actually said that they use um, auto like car paint 
car gloss. I'm not sure if that's for the paintings too, but at least for the installation, I think that's what they use. Here's some of the sketches, fully inked too. This all just makes me want to start doing acrylic, more acrylic paintings. This also was one of my favorites. I love the eye patch and the snake eel thingy. So cool. You can really tell that they were super influenced by Adventure Time in their art style. A lot of the characters are like really cool and like flowy, kind of like Adventure Time characters. I kind of wish that this book was printed a little bit larger because a lot of the details are getting stuck in the... I wish I had asked them how long each of these paintings take them because this actually looks like it was taken over a long period of time this one painting i wonder but they're very well known for being extremely fast with their painting uh, murals I remember they had a mural to do it for Pow Wow Long Beach a couple years ago and it was a whole side of a parking garage. It was probably like at least three stories, one really tall mural by themselves took two days, fully rendered. Everything was like shaded, All every inch of the wall was covered and it wasn't even like like, you couldn't tell that it took that long, you know? Like, a normal artist probably would have taken at least a week and a half or two weeks. It's crazy. This page is amazing. <laughs> All right, that is it for that one. I love that book. All right, um, this is the other book I was talking about, the one that's very adult, uh, lots of nudity and like sexual stuff. So uh, if you don't like that, skip this one, I guess. It's called Dream Logic. I think um, it was published by, yeah, Vonzos. That's right there. So um, it might be on their website, but I'm not sure if it's available still. This is this was really cool. Um, I think it was just like like a brain dump of all of these ideas and topics that they wanted to write about or paint about. And there is a forward um, note from one of their friends, Nomichi. Uh, I'm not sure if Nomichi goes by a different name now, but I'm not sure. So yeah. So this one's also gonna be really glossy. I'm gonna try my best not to get any glares. <laughs> mm. 
This is the part by Nomichi. And I believe when this book came out, Lauren was going by uh, she, her pronouns. So that's why it's gonna be like that here. Yeah, so lots of uh, bats and people doing stuff. <laughs> these are really cool. Uh, these are, I believe it was gouache painted on wood. And I think they're of um, their friends. So this is Nomichi. I'm not sure who this one was. Lots of ink drawings. Lots of details still. They're very known for lots of details. I love that there's photos of murals in here. Um, that's how I found out about them and um, became such a huge fan was seeing the murals. Like this one's amazing. 2016. It's really cool how they laid these ones out. But you can see a better look at this one. These look like there's some sketchbook pages. They have such a good uh, sense of contrast as well. Like not contrast, but like lights and darks and uh, keeping your eye like interested with a good amount of blacks and dark colors. Yeah, lots of, go lots of stuff going on in this one. Looks like a tiger and a sloth and then a lot of other stuff. <laughs> Um, a bunch of ghosts. This one looks like it was in a moleskine sketchbook with some watercolors too. It's really cool. Here's some more of the wooden portraits. I feel like this is part of where the neon colors started happening in their work. And then like you just saw tons of them in the newest show. I really like how they laid this book out because it's super wide and long probably to work with these drawings that are super wide as well. Hopefully you guys can see all of it. Some more portraits. These are really cool. I think this one's my favorite. I like this black on the on the neutral background as well. It's almost like a where's Waldo Waldo drawing. Like so many details that you have to like search and really spend time looking through it. An adult version. <laughs> Some mermaids. Oh, this was a really cool piece that they did. Uh, I think it ended up being a really large screen print with gold foil on it. I wish I had bought one, but I have the small version at least. <laughs> 
Some more sketchbook pages. I love when there's sketchbook pages with notes on them because I always do that too. It's interesting to read other artists' thoughts. <laughs> this sketchbook spread has such a cool background. There's a couple more murals. This is that mural I was talking about, actually, the one that only took them two days. It's huge. That's insane. Everyone was blown away. I remember seeing other artists commenting on it, like, I can't believe you did it so fast. <laughs> this one's really cool. Looks like they're actually up there on top. <laughs> There's some more of those wooden portraits. These ones are really cool. I love this tiger. <laughs> And I think I just really love eye patches on girls. That one's my favorite. That tiger's cute too. <laughs> Got a couple more of these circular paintings. This one's so cute. Oh wow, so that same print was also a mural at one point. And then this is a mural as well. Looks like an indoor one. It's pretty cool. I really like how the color, just one color in black and white really pops everything out. And there's some of the process of that drawing. Looks like that's it. Here's a small little bio about the artist. Um, if you want to pause it and read it, uh, their life seems super interesting. So that is Lauren Yes, or I'm not sure if I'm saying Y-S correctly. All right, so this is the Katsuya Terada book. Uh, it's called Real Size. I got this from Kino Kunya and uh, I actually bought it at the one in San Francisco's Japantown where this artist did a small a small mural on the wall um there's like a like a marker drawing pretty much which is super cool but this artist is really known for just if you can see here they just start freehanding with marker like no sketch no plan at all they just they just start drawing and it turns into this crazy, there's some more process. It looks like, is that the drawing? No. 
but you can see how big it is and how much detail there is. I'm realizing that I just like artists that do a ton of detail. <laughs> But uh, I don't think there's any words in this book. It's just photos of large drawings and then some zoomed in pages of the same drawing. Um, so I might flip through this one a little bit quicker. See, like that's the zoomed in face of that one. So it gets a little bit. It's pretty cool though. It's cool that you can make a whole bunch of different images from one large one. What I might do is actually just find the, um, the large images and show you those. There's so, look at that. There's so much detail. It's insane. Looks like it's just pen and ink or maybe black markers. Amazing. And these are the zoomed in parts of those. But look at that, it's crazy some more this book isn't glossy so it's gonna be a lot easier <laughs> uh, my favorite is this gold koi fish one actually I love the scales I think, I think this might be the mural that I was talking about, the one at Kino Cunha in San Francisco. It looks like the same one, but. Here's some sketches. It looks like it's, these are really small drawings just done on like a notepad. It's pretty cool. And there's also gonna be a lot of nudity in this book and the next book, so just a heads up. <laughs> That's a really cool one. And some of these have like fold out pages, not this one, but. Like I have to pick this up and like zoom in a little. This drawing is amazing. I love the faces that he does. Wow, here's a little process photo series, I guess. It's crazy that he just, he just goes across the page and just fills it in. Maybe I'll try doing this as an exercise one day in a video. <laughs> 
we can call it some type of art challenge. That one's really cool. I also really like the animals that he adds in. Okay, so this is like a fold out one. These drawings are really big. That's so awesome. I actually really want to see what marker or pencil he's using. Let me see. Is that a Sharpie? Uh, maybe like an alcohol marker actually. <laughs> Is he drawing? Okay, I'll look at all the ones he's drawing in and we'll see. <laughs> that looks like one too. Same one. Another fold out. Oh, that's cool. I always love when people draw on natural craft paper and use white and black. It's awesome. Ooh, pencil. On wood, huh. A dragon. Ooh, that one's on a door, a couple of doors. Maybe like a cabinet. <laughs> I feel like for these ones, he's gotta be using a paint marker, like a Posca or something, maybe. Cause it looks like a chisel tip. Ooh, these ones are gray. Everything's in Japanese except Facebook. <laughs> oh, there you go. You guys can read that if you want. I still can't tell. It's like, I think that's for sure a paint marker. Maybe acrylic. It could be Posca because it has this flat lid. Maybe he says it somewhere. <laughs> List of works. And that's it. Oh, that's cool. All right, he has a bunch of books out. This is just one of them. Uh, I think there's a whole series on the Hot Pot Girls, just, just those. So uh, if you're interested, you've got a lot of options for his artwork. <laughs> All right, the next book is this Vox one. 
yes. Um, I still don't really know this artist that well. I do follow him, but he doesn't post a whole lot. I still really love his style. This, this packaging is so cool. It's also textured, so if you can see, um, yeah, there's like lines on it. And this, everything's just neon. This is like a soft matte cover. And I like how big and uh, square it is too. Got neon pink. Hopefully I can get this whole book in camera. <laughs> All right. So I think this is very like kind of cyberpunky style. Um, lots of audio cables and girls. Um, some nudity in this one too. But I really bought it for his style and just like the overall design of the book. I love the like the neon colors that all work together and stuff. So one thing I really love also about his artwork is that I love line art in general. Um, I'm a big fan of just lines. <laughs> Um, but you can tell that he, it's all digital, of course, but he blurs his outlines. Uh, sorry. There's some loud cars outside. Okay. So this technique I've seen people do, and he does in all of his work is, um, you duplicate your line art eight layer and the one underneath, you kind of blur it a tiny bit and it gives it this like slightly fuzzy soft look while still having the regular line art on top of it so you get you still get almost like a crisp line but softer it's really cool um i've done it for a few of my drawings too i also just love how he draws eyes and kind of outlines the eyelashes individually um it's it's a really cool style this is awesome. I, I really like drawings of pedals too. <laughs> um, guitar pedals. They're just really cool looking. That's why so many people collect them. <laughs> this is also giving me very uh, 2010 Tumblr style girls also. <laughs> That's so cool. Like, look at that, those eyelashes. And like, it's such good flow. He's also got some half tones and like really interesting things that go along with his, um, I guess it goes more with like the topic, the subject matter. And this one's very glossy too. So hopefully I can avoid that. But yeah, these these girls are very like tattoos and almost almost seen looking hair. Lots of piercings. I did buy this in like twenty. I think this was twenty thirteen. So um, that definitely was the thing back then. <laughs> got a lot of like anime influence too and some of it reminds me a little bit of like Borderlands as well which is interesting but yeah I'm not sure if like he's definitely using a photo reference for some of these but some of them not like this one doesn't look like it at all 
um, I really like the more um, the more stylized characters of his than the the ones that are almost like photographs. This one is so cool. Like, look at that eye. I love it. Still sticking to the neon theme as well. Some cassette tapes with eyes. Yeah, lots of girls posing with audio equipment. <laughs> these are pretty cool. I love, I think this is the third time now in these books that I've seen uh, just like line art white and one color, which I, it's so good looking. I like it a lot. Yeah, like some of these characters are so, remind me of some video games, like a little bit like Jet Grind Radio as well. And uh, like Fully Cooly, especially with the audio equipment. This one's really cool. I like her a lot. That's really awesome. Her hair is all going like in a direction. Like you can see the angles and I love it. The other ones are not as well uh, posed, but that one. This one's really cool, but yeah, this is one of the ones that you can tell that it's pretty based on a photograph maybe. I don't know, it's kind of in between, but. It's still pretty. I love the the like teal indigo color with the neon pink. Some comic pages. one looks pretty 3D. And we're getting back into the, um, the scene girls looks like. <laughs> Guitar airplanes. Airplane girls. <laughs> Submarines. <laughs> Again, I bought this book. Um, I didn't know the artist or any of what was inside it. So, but I really, I do love his style. Some of the subject matter is interesting. But that's fine. <laughs> this one's cool. It's like Battleship. <laughs> I still really love the design though. Like all these pages with the um I think what we're going through is like tracks of an album. This is supposed to be like a record. That's why it's square. And <laughs> so it's kind of cool. 
It's a cool concept. Now these are rocket instrument girls. Ooh, that one's pretty. This reminds me of Death Stranding a little. Lots of video game references. It's a little sketchier than the other ones too. A little looser. So pretty. Oh, sorry, there's a glare, I think. Some guitars with wings. That's pretty cool, airplanes with wings. Wing wings. Here you go. This kind of explains a little bit more behind the theme and the artist. That's the artist on the left here and he is Italian. Interesting. Um, hopefully you guys can read it. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit and you can pause it. But yeah, this is a really fun book. I still love the, uh, the design more than anything. <laughs> awesome, all right. Uh, so this weekend I actually have a table at West Coast Craft at Outside Lands. It was very last minute. Um, I applied just to see if I could get in like a month ago and they accepted me. I'm so excited. I really wanted to go to Outside Lands. So now we can at least like hear it from, hear the bands from where we're sitting. Uh, but this artist is going to be painting a mural there during the festival. If you're going to Outside Lands, you can check it out. Come visit me too at the West Coast Craft Booth. I'll be selling my art and... I'll definitely vlog everything so you guys can hang out and see everything if you're not in the area. So yeah, I'm super excited about it. A little nervous because it's a little bit of a big event and kind of confusing. So uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about today's sponsor. Uh, this video was sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that allows you to do everything you need for your business all in one place. I've been using Squarespace for a few years and about two years ago, I think, I switched over to their online store option. And it's been amazing. I love having my online shop within my website so it doesn't get too confusing having too many links uh, to different places on my social media. It's super helpful. Squarespace has a lot of templates that are so well designed. They're really beautiful. They're made for all different types of websites. So uh, if you're an artist or if you're an event planner or you sell like flowers, really anything, if you have a small business, they have templates that will work with whatever you need. I love that they cater to artists, so a lot of their templates have beautiful gallery and portfolio options as well. It's so easy to use. All you have to do is just plug your information in, all of your words, your photos. You can either upload yourself or pull them from your social media, which is so useful because uh, Instagram has everything that I've ever posted on there. <laughs> and it's a lot easier to just pull it from there than keep saving all of these 
files with different sizes on my computer. It's really cool also because you can edit the photos within Squarespace. So resizing them, doing whatever you need. Uh, that way you don't have to keep saving new files on your desktop. Like I said, you can have your online store on your website as well. They also have a POS system that allows you to sell your artwork in person and that will pull from your online inventory. It makes everything easier. That way you don't have to like have two separate inventories. I have a lot of trouble with my organization and inventory stuff. So uh, that makes it so much easier for me to use. Uh, Squarespace has a free trial. So if you want to check it out, you can do that. If you like it, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline and get 10% off your first purchase. There's going to be links in the description below. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, book tour. I have so many more books to do. Um, trying to keep a theme with each thing. So like next time I might do um, books from the movies or like cartoons. And um, I have a bunch of books from my childhood as well that I used to collect. So that may be a fun one. If there's any books that you are interested in me, you know, previewing it for you, um, let me know and I'll, I might purchase it because I'm always looking to expand my art book collection. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Happy Halloween. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.